I've made a lot of changes to the team DPS calculator recently to take into account many more situations, such as Saki's A1 skill reset. I've also fixed several issues and misunderstandings since the last video, so here is some updated numbers and info. Note, the numbers presented in this video, both in calculations as well as the raw values of skills, are subject to change. Is Saki Fua a main DPS? Saki Fua is a core part of ice teams, but not because of her personal damage. She gives them passive damage through her flow and surge effects. Flow deals 30% damage per 0.8 seconds on any weapon. Her surge effect can only be procced by herself and deals 135% damage when using a branch attack or a discharge with a cooldown of 10 seconds. Saki's basic attacks are very lackluster and do less than brick dashes. Her plunge spam, however, is quite literally on par. Assuming you swap to Saki every 10 seconds to frog surge, it doesn't really matter whether you choose to main DPS on her or Brick, but not that Saki plunge spam does take a considerable amount of endurance, and Frig can be powered up considerably via Huma 2 piece matrix. Subasa A5 still puts out a larger amount of damage per set per second, assuming you could hit it, but even then, this is offset by the lack of charge it generates. I've seen a lot of misconceptions of people who want to invest in an A6 Saki, thinking it'll make her a better main DPS, but that is simply not the case. Not that Saki's advancements don't offer anything to make her a better DPS relative to the rest of your team. The third advancement is the only one that could be argued to improve her main DPS capability, but even then, it's better to swap into her every 10 seconds for the proc, and then swap to a higher DPS afterward. Speaking of advancements though, let's take a deeper look at them. Here is a table detailing the key advancements as well as the overall damage per minute in an A6 Frost team. Saki's A1 is the strongest advancement in her kit. However, past A1, her gains are minimal, with roughly a 10% team damage difference between A1 and A6, base stats excluded. A1 gives a full team skill reset every 5 skills cast. Especially with Frig A1 and above, this is a massive damage increase due to the huge damage the domain pop does. The ideal way to use skill with Saki A1 plus in a typical Frost team would be using one full round of skills, and then opting to not use Tsubasa skill for the next 30 seconds, in favor of double dipping both Saki and Frig skills, which hit much harder. Additionally, this reset doubles the damage from fall for 25 seconds. These conditions are all accounted for in the calculator, and it's what gives us this initial value. At A3, her surge DPS is increased by 2 times. If you're on attack resonance, the damage goes up by 2 times, and if you're on tank resonance, the cooldown goes down by 2 times. This adds only a very small amount of damage to the total. Her advancement 5 is for on-demand Fantasia, and does not have any easily quantifiable value. Her advancement 6 is a permanent 8% frost damage increase, as long as you proc surge at least once every 15 seconds. Overall, Saki is still extremely strong. She just happens to have most of her value front-loaded in her first advancement. Now let's talk about matrices. Saki's two-piece matrix deals 65 to 110% frost damage to nearby enemies every 3 seconds, while increasing the frost damage they receive by 5%. This effect works off-field. Using my calculator, these effects together turn out to be a theoretical gain of 9.67% damage in frost teams, roughly the same amount from Saki A1 to A6. Do note that this doesn't take into consideration the opportunity cost of having DPS matrices on Saki, but since Saki herself doesn't pump out too much raw damage anyway, it makes more sense to have buffing matrices on her and focus on having damaging matrices elsewhere, such as Frig or Sabasa. The 4 piece matrix applies a mark to targets hit 10 times, which increases their frost damage taken by 11% at 0 star. This increases the overall power of the matrix set to 21.7% damage. To put power into scale, a 4 piece Frig matrix on Frig contributes roughly 15.3% damage. Saki is a powerhouse for ice. 
She provides power, not through her own damage, but by providing constant passive damage in the background, and resetting skills after A1. She can be a functional main DPS, but she can only match freak dash DPS at best. Her value is front-loaded in her first advancement, after which the two-piece matrix set almost matches the power of her A6, with the four-piece matrix set being over twice the value. That is to say, if you have a limited budget, it may be worth considering focusing on matrices over advancements after A1. Unless you want the white skin, cause Saki's pretty cute after all. That's it for my updated Saki analysis. Remember that numbers may change, as well as my calculations. I'm constantly making upgrades to make the calculations as accurate as possible, so keep an eye out on the spreadsheet or join my Discord to keep up to date. See you guys next time!